you may be considering taking the Microsoft Power BI certification exams. But should you? You're going to have to invest your time and effort and a bit of money to clear these exams. Before you go do that, shouldn't you ask yourself, is it even worth it? I'm going to tell you three reasons you should and three reasons you shouldn't take these exams. So you can weigh these factors yourself and decide what's best for you. I'm Avi Singh, Microsoft MVP and best-selling Power BI author. I have trained and coached thousands of professionals to get breakthrough success in their Power BI career. And in doing so, I worked with employers as well as people looking for jobs. So let's see what they both think about Power BI certification. The first reason you should consider taking the Power BI certification exams is that it's easy. Well, I know it's gonna take some work, but if you look around, uh, you would see a lot of people who have been taking and clearing, the, clearing these exams. And certainly there, there are tons of resources available, a lot of them free, but of course there is paid training and all of that stuff there as well. So yeah, it shouldn't be hard for you to go through the training and be able to clear these exams. The second reason, and this one is obvious, is that it could give you an edge when it comes to looking for a new job or a new opportunity. That is often the primary reason people consider these exams. And when I've talked to employers, they have said that what it can do is give you that slight bump. So imagine a pile of resumes and getting having that certification may bump you up a few spots in that resume pile. And they've also told me that if they have two candidates which are totally at the same level, have the same qualification certifications, and they were equally impressive in the interview, then it's quite possible that if one has the certification exam, that one may edge out the other one, all else being equal. The third reason to get a Power BI certification is that it can be a great starting point. When you're learning something new, new technology, it can be intimidating. There is so much to learn and how can you tell that are, are you learning something of value? Power BI certification can, be, can feel like that stamp of approval where somebody tells you that, yep, you know something and, and that can be a great motivator. Now it is the stepping point and we'll talk more about that, but it can be a, a, you know good motivation to get to that pit stop so that you can continue on that journey forward. Now let's talk about three reasons why you may not want to uh, go through the Power BI certification exams. And we're going to go a little bit deeper here. The first reason is actually the same as the first list. So first reason why you shouldn't get Power BI certification is that it is easy. And again, as I said, I mean, all I have to do is look through my LinkedIn feed and I'm it's possible you see the same thing. There are lots and lots of people out there kind of announcing, hey, look, I got certified, I got certified. So it's, it, it's, it's not a high bar. And employers know it and employees do too. And so employers, again, that's why I talked about it, the best it can give you is that slight bump, the slight edge, but it, it doesn't give, buy you more than that. Because again, people know that it's not that hard to clear these exams. Uh, and of course, if you look at from the employee perspective, uh, I, I run a Power BI training program and I often get members who just got their certification and then they join my course and they tell me, this is these are their words, say, yeah, Avi, I cleared the exam, but now I really wanna know how to use Power BI. So there's that disconnect between, you know, just that exam knowledge versus being able to solve real problems. So the exam is easy, but that also means that it's not that much of a differentiating factor. Let's talk about the second reason why you shouldn't get the Power BI certification exam. Now, this is what my very first resume looked like. I was fresh out of college and really eager to land my first job, but my resume has never looked like that since because only if you are a rookie, if you're just starting out, maybe uh, just out of college or starting a brand new career, again, a total rookie would put their edu education qualifications first and talk about their certifications or highlight their certifications. As soon as I gain experience, even if six months, one year, you always lead with that because it is more powerful. 
So here's the catch. By maybe highlighting or talking about certification, you may put yourself with the rookies, right? So since it's often the rookie who's kind of doing these kind of things, focus on education and certification and kind of touting that, pushing that forward just by that act, you may bundle yourself with that group. Now, if you are a rookie, well, there's no, you know, no harm done. But if you are, let's say, a 10-year veteran in the industry, then you may not tout it. You may not even put it in front and you may highlight your real life experience and just as an afterthought, mention maybe that you do have the certification, but you're certainly gonna not gonna lead with it. So be careful about you know, that the value that you get from certification may be limited. The third reason you should consider before you decide about investing your time and money towards getting a Power BI certification exam is exactly that. You need to think like an investor. So think about this commitment towards Power BI certification exam as investing a thousand dollars so often people question the question people ask is that oh is it gonna help me and that's like saying oh if i put my thousand dollars in this bank account am i gonna get any returns the answer is yes but that's the wrong question to ask the right question to ask is where can i invest my money and put my money so that i can get the best returns possible so the same way you should be asking yourself where can you invest your time and effort and energy so that you can get the best results possible? Now, again, I've worked with employers, employees, I've been training and coaching and doing this for a long time. If you ask me, the area where you can get the best possible returns is actually to get a real life Power BI experience. And that requires two things that you need to be working on real business data, but also that you need to be working with a real business client. That's how you get really good at Power BI by getting that real practice. Now, uh, of course, that can be challenging for some, but again, if you have an opportunity to do a project like that, your time and effort is better served doing that instead of spending the time and energy on getting a certification exam. Again, think like an investor. Now, where is the best possible place for you to get the return on your money? Hey, let me know in the comments below if this video changed your mind about getting a Power BI certification or maybe not getting a Power BI certification. And if you have gotten a Power BI certification, let us know what your experience has been about the value of the certification. So leave a comment below and make sure to read the comments uh, of other folks as well, because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of valuable knowledge and information there. I'll see you next time. Until then, power on.